On today's show, we go on a bucket list adventure in search of Nebraska's original upland game birds, sharp-tailed grouse, and greater prairie chicken. Come along as this hunt shows its beauty Get ready for flush. and abundant birds, but test even the hardiest of hunters. Yeah, good idea. Bird! Rooster! On a clear morning, the first few rays of the sun shining upon the short grass prairie shows off its golden image. Here the speed goats of North America live as well as the sharp-tailed grouse that thrive. That is why we've decided to make a long trip to pursue this one-of-a-kind bird. One of the tactics we might use is uh, Guys, you know, we always wear all kinds of camouflage and stuff like that. We're walking up on birds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear my cowboy hat and make sure my fencing pliers are visible. So we're walking up on those birds, they're gonna think we're there to fix fence and then <laughs> pull out the old A5 and we ain't there to fix fence. You uh, guided me on my first sharp tail grouse hunt in the sand hills of northern north central Nebraska. And uh, we got into a copy of at least a dozen birds, and uh, they flush in there a good 200 yards out. And uh, then we re jumped them, and we were flushing doubles and singles. And I shot this one, he probably was a good 15 yards out when I hit him. And uh, Daisy, it's the first upland dog or bird that we got with Daisy, our new GSP, and she's working like a charm. She's a champion. So, fun hunt out in the middle, nowhere sand hills, we're finding sharp tail grouse. What are you doing? Kill him! Nice shot, Dan! I got two! Nice! Did you get me with mine? Two. Yeah, go. see, that's a mature bird. See how rounded that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. You ought to get a picture of me before. Here. You get a picture of me. There they go. Up on top of the hill.
day of uh, sharp tail and prairie chicken season in Nebraska and uh, we got five birds here we got one this morning Caleb got three I got three so we limited out way to go we just limited out on sharpies and you got your last bird 10 minutes right before legal shooting time yeah. so he squeaked it out squeaked it out nice flush and uh, we did not hunt Daisy this evening we kept her home because it was 90 plus degrees out and it was hot this afternoon when we found the birds in the shade um, in a low area um, we didn't want to burn the dog up so uh, we were only out for about two hours tonight mm -hmm. didn't take long it was hot but it started cooling off nice yeah. but uh, yeah we had some fun shooting so five shots five birds not quite no, not quite no, but no well we got five birds yeah <laughs> good job dad way to go way to go Kayla. you'll take me as a guide any day that's right i will take him as a guide any day 100 percent. a limit feels pretty good cross 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 running they're running get ready for a flush There's more, there's more. Got one. Yeah, good idea. Bird! Good shot! Yeah, good idea. Bird! Man, did he hold tight. I got him marked. There he is. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Another male. Are you your camera going? Yeah. Wow, we made that look easy. Got three sharp tails. So, Dad got two, I got one. So, Dad's one away from his limit, I'm two away from mine. This was a. Uh... This is a plum thicket where we jumped some birds last night and it's hot right now. It's probably 95. I think that camera might be jiggling a little. Um, I think it's about 95 to 97 degrees. It's noticeably different where we are in the shade. Um, I do feel like we're beating up on the birds. It's early season. Uh, they're holding relatively well for us, which is nice. Um, but in this vast wide open expanse, there's not birds everywhere. There's birds in pockets and patches. And if you know the cover, like a lot of people aren't gonna hunt when it's 97 degrees out, but if it's 97 degrees out, you know the birds are in the shade near water. So just go hunt near shade near, near water and you're gonna see tons of birds. So I do feel that the heat is actually the number one advantage we have. Of course, it would burn up a dog. So we left Daisy back at the cabin. Um, but I do think the heat is actually working towards our advantage, even though we get a half mile walking and we got to take a break ourselves and rewater. So, but good hunt. Uh, I got two out of this. Caleb got one out of this, and uh, we let a bunch escape, hopefully, to uh, continue to elude us and others. So, fun hunt. Get ready, Dad. This looks good.
Very good. And I just went for a quick little walk over some sand, the sand hills. And we had broken a covey up earlier and we were able to get three birds. There we go. Um, so we decided to go for a little walk to see if we couldn't get that covey up. And typically when you're hunting grouse, we're hunting grouse in 90, 90 to 95 degree weather. So it's a little hot out. Most guys would think we're nuts for hunting grouse. But anyway, we're looking for real heavy, plum thickets where the birds can get out of the shade and get the cool get out of the wind and all that well we come up over this rise and I take one step and sure enough he came out I shot once hit him he kept flying shot again and dropped him right in the plum thicket so great day dad got two birds I got two birds and we limited out yesterday so a lot of birds this year in the sand hills Thanks for watching, we'll catch you guys later. In the end, Nebraska is not known for its abundant pheasants like Iowa or South Dakota. But to an upland hunter, it's one of the best states to pursue prairie grouse. Nebraska offered us a new experience, plus two limits and a picture-perfect sunset to end a great weekend we would never forget.